All right, be careful. No, 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 you're not coming back in yet. Come on, go potty. Wow. It's really coming down. Guys, I'm not even kidding. It's been 45 minutes to maybe an hour since our last update. And look at how much snow we have. Looks like maybe half an inch. What do y'all think? Maybe half an inch of snow. Jeez. My goodness. Let's go check on the chickens. It says it's over 20. I don't know if I believe that. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're all in there, aren't you? Look at the ground. Oh my goodness, girls. Hey, y'all staying dry? Yeah, I knew I should have shut the door. Look at all the snow that's come in. How are you doing? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we have a red in the coop. Eight, nine. You girls, why'd you get to the bottom? You're supposed to let this, you're kicking it out. There you go. You crazy girls. Hey girls. Clean out your food again. There we go. Let's see if your water froze yet. It's only been an hour, tops. Oh gosh, it is freezing. I need a stick. I forgot to bring my stick with me. I'm gonna go find a stick. Woo! Oh, it's gonna be hard to find my water stick in the snow. There it is. This is my stick where I poke, poke the water so the ice doesn't melt or doesn't freeze. All right, girls. Make sure they have water that's not frozen. And that means I'll have to come back out in a little bit. I'm gonna leave my stick out here. Whew. My hands are cold, cold, cold. I'm gonna close this for now. I'm gonna add y'all some more hay here in a little bit. Wow, the snow is really coming down. I can only imagine how much snow we're gonna get if this is less than an hour right here. Look at that. It is snowing really hard right now. All right guys, it's about quarter after five in the afternoon. So I'm gonna go out and recheck on the chickens. So I've came out a few times now and I haven't really brought the camera because we were mostly just getting work done. I cleared off the roof um, earlier. I knocked all the snow off. And we're gonna do that again before nightfall. I'm also bringing out some fresh water that's nice and melted because their water that they had in the coop, it was frozen right at the opening. So the water that was in there wasn't coming out. Let me go in here. Hey girls. It looks much drier in here. Bless you. Bless you. I don't like that. Miss Ariel sneezing. So I've added a little bit more hay, and then I also, earlier, I took that 
front that I kind of have as a cover over the hay bin since we're almost out of hay anyway. And I went ahead and wrapped it in plastic and put it up against their chicken run to help brace them from the wind and the snow a little bit to keep it even drier in there. The snow that we've had this time is blowing in from a different direction than the last snow that we had. So um, it was coming into the chicken run a lot more than it did even when we got those 12 inches about a month ago. So I went ahead and I switched out their classic chicken water for this rubber one. That way, no matter what, even if it frozes solid, I can kick it over and get the big chunks of ice out and they can always have fresh water that's drinkable. We've been coming out every couple hours and giving them fresh melted water. That way they can stay hydrated. Definitely a little frustrating for us, but since we're not, this isn't a norm for us, we didn't invest in a heated water. This is the first time this winter that we've even, or this is the first time ever that we've even had a problem with their water freezing. Even that time that we got the 12 inches of snow, it was not cold enough that their water was an issue at all. I'm actually gonna turn this around and just pour it from the back. There we go. And I'll come out and I'll dump it out and give them completely fresh water here a little later. You girls are puffy. You're all puffed up. Hey. But at least they're staying dry. Whew. Now here's the crazy thing. In our house right now, since we don't have cold winters and it's usually not an issue, we have one electric heater, like a portable electric heater in our living room. And in the day we normally heat up the living room and then at night we move it to the bedroom and heat up the bedroom. And that's what we've been doing all winter is just moving the heater. And so today, last night actually, we went ahead and we slept in the living room since the living room was already heated up. We just slept in the living room. That way we wouldn't have to try to heat up the bedroom and from scratch. And so right now our living room is the only heated room in our house, which is crazy because um, like in the kitchen and in any of the other rooms in the house, you can see your breath and there's actually crystallized frost on the inside of our windows, which is crazy. So we've been hunkered down in the living room the kitchen was crazy we're cooking dinner right now and to start out our house is all electric so i just opened the oven and just turned on the oven to help heat up that room right before we even went in there because it was like you can see your breath <laughs> in the house but tonight's dinner um i myself i'm going to be eating some elk chili with cornbread and Luis is cooking tilapia for him and his sister um fun fact I actually don't eat any seafood. I'm highly allergic to shellfish and I just stay away from seafood completely. Um, so they're having tilapia and they're baking it with apples and lemon juice and they have he's making a really nice rice peel off with it. So that's gonna be fun. Um, it's almost ready. I just wanted to come out and check on the chickens again. So before bed, we are gonna scrape off the roof one more time because we do not want another one of these things happening. For our chickens and then I'll also add even more bedding in there for them and more bedding inside their coop so they can help stay warm today. Hey girls! Hi my girls! What you doing? Good morning everybody it is the next morning and it is five degrees outside. It's been about five degrees for almost 12 hours now, so it's very cold. I am going to go see the chickens this morning and make sure that they have food and water, and let's take you guys along. All right, we're taking out some fresh water. Jean's helping me this morning. Let's go. We cleaned off the roof last night, so hopefully, yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Good morning, girls. 
We can just leave it open. I don't think they're gonna come out of here. Go ahead and let them out before we do anything. There you go. Come on, girls. Good morning. Good morning. Get my stick and we'll see. Oh, wow. That is frozen solid. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this outside and empty it. This is what's cool about a rubber water bowl is no matter how cold it is, if I can get my fingers under it. Ugh. Ah, my gloves are too big. Yeah, it just comes out. I thought this was gonna be easier. <laughs> that was supposed to be very wow. demonstrative. <laughs> All right, here she comes to save the day. Whew. Very good. That's how that was supposed to go. <laughs> Look girls. I know. <laughs> They're like, oh, we're banging that on the ground. Is that safe to be in here? All right. <laughs> you know what? I think it's crazy that their chicken coop was actually warmer than our house last night. So we are actually in a power outage right now. We have no power to the house and all of our heaters are electric. <laughs> and our stove is electric. And our stove is electric. Everything's electric. So we had no heat last night. We were bundled up for warmth. And I come out here and stick my head in the coop. It's nice and warm in the coop. And you can't see your breath in the coop. You go in our house, you can see your breath in the house. <laughs> so these girls, they're, they're doing all right this morning. <laughs> I do have it well ventilated in the front, but I do have a tarp hanging over it. So they have nice airflow, but it keeps the snow from going in. So they were staying pretty warm last night. I just showed that little thing. Oh yeah, just, just the lip, it all collected on the edge. That's cool. <laughs> it defies gravity itself. I think the snow falling is so pretty. It's like very whimsical right now. Yesterday it was a little heavier. It was not enjoyable. <laughs> a lot it was heavier. Flying at your face. I know it was all hitting you in the face. <laughs> Ooh, yesterday, if you breathe hard, if you were like, it will like get in your nose, like ah. Oh. <laughs> I know. I thought I, I almost thought that I had icicles on my nose. I couldn't feel my <laughs> nose, and then I went in and I'm like, okay, they're not icicles yet, but surely. So I'm gonna go ahead and head inside and try to figure out what breakfast we can eat that doesn't require electricity or heat on a day like this where it's really cold and all you really want is a nice warm breakfast. So we'll see, um, but overall, we're all doing all right. We're all hanging in there and we're all trying to stay as warm as we can. Don't forget before you click away to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so that you can see what's going on here at our homestead. Like these freakish snowstorms in Western Texas where we're not supposed to get snow. <laughs> so stay tuned for next time. You don't know what you're gonna